Here we are. I'm not completely safe yet. Nordig put in of the North Saskatchewan River. I'm not safe. We got a bow paddler. She doesn't know I'm filming her yet. I'm not safe. <laughs> Where's the cliff? She wants to be safe. Anyway, we're setting off here uh, mid afternoon on a Tuesday. A little cloudy. It's been kind of dreary, I guess. It's very wet here, okay, but okay. nice, nice temperature. We're only gonna just got dropped off by our shuttle driver. Our truck's gonna meet us at the end, and we're just gonna float down the river for an hour, maybe two set up camp and just have a lazy day yeah not going too far today just gonna set up quick but we're ready to go got anything to say Finley? No. camping at dutch creek on the north saskatchewan river how was their night warm oh good just had our breakfast. Beautiful spot, lots of camping here. A little rain this morning and last night, but we put the tarp up. Doing good. We don't even know what time it is. And we don't care. We're packing up right now to leave. But, you know, I'll show you around anyways. That's my dad. He just ducked behind the tarp. Anyways, we're taking down our tarp because it rained a lot last night. So, you know. Well, it didn't rain a lot, but it rained when we got there and we had to just sit there. I was really cold, so. But that's our dying fire. We can't really do anything because, you know, we don't have any more wood. Oh, it's so warm. I'm sorry, I'm just really cold today. Anyways, let's go down to the river. I'll show you how I have to get down. This thing is in the way, so I have to like go like this and then parkour it. Okay. Anyways, we're down here. Don't mind my little dinghy bell. That's so my dad knows where I am. I feel like a cat when I'm wearing it. No, it's actually not so my dad knows where I am. It's like, so the bears don't come eat me, I can just go and then they'll run away. And if that doesn't work, then I have this handy dandy bear spray that my dad taught me how to use, which I'm very proud of. And this, that's what our campsite looks like from afar. Yeah. And this is our canoe that my dad made himself. It's pretty snazzy, am I right? Um, but yeah, we went in the middle of the river and it got scratched up a bit, but that's okay. Anyways, this is the river that we're traveling okay, this on. This is my tent so far. So, oh yeah, those are my shoes. Those are my around the campsite shoes. These are like quick shine, those are not. So, you know, got that nice and got inflatable pillows here. Yeah. So that's pretty awesome. And you sleep just like this and it's pretty cool and yeah these are our air mattresses my dad let me have the big one also mine is deflated like by a lot but it's fine yeah this is my sleeping bag it's really warm and cozy this is my clothes bag right here and this is my dad's sleeping bag um so basically, we are here, Dutch Creek. We started here where we paddled like all the way here. And today we're gonna paddle to the middle here, to Ram River. And we're staying the night there. Or we're staying somewhere around this area. And then the next night, we're just going to paddle a little ways here. And then the next day, we're going to paddle to the Rocky Mountain House and get picked up by our shuttle driver.
So that's Nordig back there. We're about to take off on our first full day. Late start. But that's okay. I got a blogger in the bow. She's got the GoPro running. I forgot to give you a weather update. It's kind of like, it's pretty chilly, as you can tell from what I'm wearing. But, um, yeah, it's kind of chilly. And you can kind of see the sun a little bit, but it's still like green and stuff. Dad's vlogging. I'm vlogging too, so I can't really say anything. This is me filming you filming me. She can't hear me, she's busy explaining stuff. <laughs> anyway, we're just at the gap on the northern Saskatchewan River. Should be just uh, like 500 meters that way, but we stayed here at Dutch Creek. Very nice campground, lots of camp spots, lots of fire rings. There's supposed to be uh, an outhouse here, but we never could find it. But we'll head off. I don't know what time it is, but you know, I'm at the front of the boat, so I'm feeling pretty good. And my nose is stuck in the so that's kind of not that good. Yeah, we're coming to the boat. told them about that, my, my friends. You're my friends, right? Okay, good. You better be my friends. You better have answered that, or else I would have been upset with you. Through the camera. There's one of two outcomes. That made no sense. I'm kind of just talking to myself now. So. Making a fool of myself. You're welcome. You get to witness that. Always wear a life jacket, kids. You never know.
Okay, anyways, so funny thing, I was trying to make a vlog for my friends on a GoPro without a, without a waterproof case on it. So, um, basically, we were doing rapids, right? And, um, basically, um, we sank, essentially. And so the GoPros are, like, actually ruined. Here's our camp. We got a, a hammock swinger over there. Oh, we got the sun shining now. It was raining a little bit this morning. We're about halfway down the route. So about 50 kilometers to go or so. We got a day and a half, one more night. But yeah, it was uh, pretty rainy, so we couldn't get a lot of filming in. Till now, um, the GoPros are, I think, had it. They got all wet. We swamped just before Saunders Ledge. So we were nervous about Saunders Ledge, and then my fault, we went. Right when we should have went left, even though it was telling us to stay right. But uh, yeah, lost a couple of GoPros, I think, but that's okay. We'll keep on headed. Uh, today we should end up at Devil's Elbow, probably probably about three hours once we get going. We'll go a little further, get another early stop, and uh, find a good camp. But uh, yeah, we're just uh, petering around. We had some, tried to make some pancakes and we're just puttering around. Just relaxing. So, that's awesome. So this is our final morning on the North Saskatchewan River. Clear skies today. Should be real nice. So as you can tell, this isn't really a campsite. It's just an end to a road. It's probably a boat launch, but uh, yeah, the water's so high, we passed a, looked like a nice campsite, but there's no place to land, and the current was so fast, we had to move on, so we kind of just hacked out a spot here, so it was okay. 
we had up the bug shelter and had a nice relaxing time in there just in this part right here <sighs> there's so many bugs here Finley's getting dressed, I think. But we'll be on our way. Ready to go? Yeah. We got 24.4 kilometers left till Rocky Mountain House. So, a couple hours we'll be back. No rain today for once, so that should be nice.